QuickBooks Pro 2021. Print, save as PDF, and export to Excel. Profit and loss, P&L, or income statement reports. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We're now going to take a look at some of the income statement reports we have generated and looked into in prior presentations and think about how we might display them or show them to a supervisor or client basically on a month end or year end basis. To think about that, let's first think about where we're going to put these reports. I'm going to minimize up here we're going to go into our ggg file this might be a client file if you're a bookkeeper or it might be a, a company file if it's your company that if you're a bookkeeper you would sort by client most likely if it's your company data then you might be sorting by date of that company data so then i'm going to go into section one through five that's going to be the sections we're working on in the practice problem in practice in an actual practice then of course it might be by client or it might be by date within the client or within our company file. This is what we did last time because we had the information for the balance sheet. We're going to be continuing on with this. So last time we added our balance sheet items into our financial statement folder here. We're going to be including them, printing them out as a PDF, which you can then uh, attach to say an email or you can zip them like this. I'm going to delete the zipped file because we're going to have to zip it again. I'm going to delete that and you can attach the zipped file or we're going to make this one PDF file that includes all of them on it by, by putting that information into uh, Excel and then saving everything as a PDF using the Qt PDF printer. So we're going to save our income statement uh, reports to the same file that we started off with when we did our balance sheet reports. Okay, so let's see what that will look like. I'm going to go back on over. Now, you'll note that we memorize some of our reports as well. We, we memorize them and group them by category on when where we're going to use them at a month end or year end so let's take a look at that i'm going to go to the reports drop down i'm going to go to the memorized uh reports or let's go to the report center reports and then reports center I'm going to maximize the report center I'm going to go into the memorized tab up top and then we have our categories this is the the client month end reports and our year end reports we're going to imagine it's the end of the month now and we've got our balance sheet and income statement reports which have been formatted the way we like to see them on these month end or year end reports. Now, you, there's one way that you could do this, which would be a quick way if you want all these reports grouped together and simply email them out. You could go to this edit item up top, select the category that you're looking into, and then I want to display them. And I could just check off the ones I want. I can have the time frame here. And I could then possibly even just simply email right out of uh, QuickBooks. Although, again, I like to basically at least print them as a PDF so that I can put them somewhere, look at them, and then send them out. So that's one option you have. We're going to be opening up these items or at least the income statement items one at a time here. Uh, but if you wanted just the income statement items to open up, also you could just choose the income statement items and, and unchoose the balance sheet items here and then just simply display them check them out and then print them so that's one way you could do it i'm going to close this back out i'm going to close this back out uh here's our balance sheet reports are up top i'm going to open our income statement reports basically at uh, one by one so here we have our income statement this is our standard income statement let's open that one up first i'm going to say run the report it's all it's already formatted. I just need to change the dates. And I'm going to change the dates for the two months ended. So January 1st to 022821. So that's the date range that we want. Now I'm just going to print it out. I'm going to use the drop down. We could save it as a PDF. I'm going to practice using the Qt PDF printer, which is a free tool that uh, uh, I, would, I would use. It's, a, it's typically a free tool. But I would use some type of PDF printer just to get used to using one. Uh, and there we have it. And I'm going to go ahead and print it. And sometimes the option up top in some programs and even some QuickBooks reports don't have the option to, to save it as a PDF. And if you have a cute PDF printer uh, or some type of PDF, PDF printer, then you could still save it as a PDF. So here's what we have in the folder thus far. Uh, we've numbered them in order to be able to have some control over how the, they will be numbered in the folder that we're going to zip and send out. So I could label this as number four, although you might want to put it like after the balance sheet possibly. 
but I'm just going to have all the balance sheet reports and then the income statement reports at this time. So income, income statement, and I'm going to say 02.28.21 and save that. I'm also going to export it to Excel. So we're going to hit the Excel drop down. I'm going to create a new worksheet. I'm going to put it into the existing workbook that we set up when we did the balance sheet. If you don't have an existing workbook, then you can practice going to a, a new workbook here, which will open up Excel and create a new workbook. We have an existing workbook from the prior presentation with the balance sheets, and there it is. So I'm going to put it into that one, and it'll open up that workbook and then uh, place a new worksheet within it. There it is. I'm going to maximize this. I'm going to grab that sheet. I'm going to pull it to the right now. It added this first tab again. I'm going to remove that first tab. Don't need it. Right click on it. Delete it. Then I'm going to go back to the last tab. I'm going to rename it. Double clicking on it. I'm going to call it IS for income statement. Let's check out the view on the page layout view. Which gives us an idea of what it will look like when we print it. A better idea. We're going to get rid of the freeze panes or the splits by going to the view tab up top. Windows. Remove the splits. And we sit, the header looks good. Going to go back to the normal view. Looks good. Let's close it out and go to the next report. Going to save that. And yes. And then I'm going to go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Back to the, to the report center in the open windows. And now let's open up the comparative income statement. That's a good one. Let's open that one up. So there it is. Dates look correct. Everything lines up. So I'm just going to go ahead and print it out. I'm going to go print it. I'm going to use the cute PDF printer once again. Uh, let's do it that way. I'm going to say reports and say print. And then it's going to ask me where do I want to put it. And I'm going to say that I want this one going. And I'm going to I'm going to label it number five now. Number five. This is a comparative. It's spelled wrong up there. Sorry about that statement. I'm going to abbreviate statements. 02.28.21 and save that and so that one and now let's export it again export create a new worksheet within the existing workbook that we set up last time it's going to an, an existing workbook it should be going where we want it already but i like to double check it because sometimes i've messed up and sent it to the wrong one sometimes it's kind of annoying there we have it going to maximize this screen going to pull this one to the right pulling it to the right I'm going to double click on it, call it a comparative income statement or something like that. I'm going to check out on, on the first tab. It gave me this thing again. I don't need that. I'm going to click on it and say right click and delete, delete it. I don't, I don't want that. And then I'm going to go back to the comparative income statement, check out the page layout view and say, okay. And header looks good. Let's go to the view tab up top, go to the windows group and remove the splits. And back to the normal view. That looks pretty good. Let's close that out. Closing that out. And save that. And save that. And then I'm going to go back on over. And let's go to the report center. Uh, the next one that we had was a summary balance sheet. I won't do the vertical analysis. Because we... Well, should I do the vertical analysis? Comparative balance sheet income statement. Yeah, let's do the vertical analysis one. So I'll say run that one. And then uh, the dates are going to be 01 to 022821. So we just need to change the dates. That's it. Let's go ahead and print it out. I'm going to print it out using the cute PDF printer. Saving it as a PDF in essence. So I'm going to say it's going to ask me where do I want to put it. It's going to that same folder. going to call this num one uh, number 6. This is report 6 so we can put it in order. Six vertical analysis analysis income statement 02.28.21. Save it there. Let's export it to Excel. Excel create a new worksheet, but we're gonna put it to an existing workbook. Existing workbook. That's the one. That's the one. I'm pretty sure. And then I'm gonna export it. So there it is. I'm going to maximize the screen. I'm going to grab that, pull it to the right, and then double click on it. And I'm going to call this the vert analysis income statement, something like that. I'm going to go to the first tab where it put that thing there again that I don't want. So I'm going to right click on it and delete it. Don't want that thing. And then I'm going to go to the right again. And then we're going to go to the page layout view and say OK. 
and then let's get rid of the splitting of the panes again by going to the view tab and remove the splitting of the pane i don't want the pane to be splitted and then i'm going to be going back to the normal view and uh, there it is so if i close it out and see what we have thus far i'm going to close this out say yes and then and then see what's in the folder that we've been putting all this stuff into so i've been putting the stuff into this folder and so so now if i go into this folder we're getting kind of a lot of reports so if i was to add this uh one email at a time it'd be a lot of emails or if i attach it it'll be a lot of documents on one email i can't adjust the order by numbering it but i have to number them in order to put the the attachments in order as well i could zip the folder you know i could zip it right clicking on it and uh, send it to a compressed file and that allows me to have one attachment with a zipped file in it uh, i could send the excel document but we don't typically want to do that unless someone wants it in that format but we can also use the excel document to make one pdf file let's do that now and then we can just attach the one pdf file might be worth putting more effort uh, to do something like that because again presentation matters right it matters to have how the things presented so i'm going to say let's go here let's go to the file tab i'm going to say let's print this and uh, and let's use the cute pdf printer to do it so it's not going to a printer we're now sending it to that pdf printer it's not going to go to one worksheet which is by default what it will typically do but rather the entire workbook so now, and notice that there's a little bit of a, a trade-off in that it, it left aligns the data. You could try to fix that. That's what's going to be different than what will happen if you, if you print this report as a PDF out of uh, QuickBooks. But notice you can get it all on one, one PDF, which is nice. So here's my summary balance sheet. Here's the balance sheet. This is what we did last time. So this is the balance sheet. We haven't got to the income statement. That's what we did. We did income statement stuff this time. So there's the income statement. That's the new thing that we did this time. And then the comparative income statement and then the vertical analysis income statement, that's it. So let's go ahead and print that. And it's gonna, it's gonna use the cute PDF printer to print it on one PDF file. I'm gonna bring it back one folder to the section one through five. I'm gonna replace this one because now I have more stuff in it for that uh, time period. And then let's minimize this and minimize this. And I'm going to then open up that PDF file, opening up the PDF file. So, so now we have it. And again, it's kind of left aligned, the reports. You could work on the formatting of it, but notice all the, all the reports now on one PDF, which can be nicer for someone to be receiving uh, for that type of report. So there it is. There's our income statement. And so on and the so forth so on and the so forth and if i compare that to what it looks like if i printed it right out of uh quickbooks for like the summary let's look at the income statement here the standard income statement will look like this and you can see it's it's center aligned here versus if i look at this one on the income statement scroll down to the income statement du -du -du -du. comparative comparative balance sheet here's the income statement it's like pulled over basically to the to the left so you got that alignment issue which you can format in quickbooks it takes a little bit of formatting to do but that's kind of the trade-off to get them all on 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 one on one file so you can decide you know what's the best option for you to provide this information to whoever you're providing it to